The last design element that we're going to be working with, as we said, was inside these areas of contained space, and basically the white areas that are continue, that are still there in my drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that aside. I'm going to grab one of the, the copies that I made that just doesn't have any of the color on it. So I can try out different pattern designs. Now, there's two packets. One are these cool Zentangle designs that have a variety of options as far as, you know, different types of, of shapes that you can create in those negative spaces. Now, obviously, some would be better than others, but you also want to consider the patterns working with your overall design. These are just going to be in black and white and maybe a slight accent using some pencil shading. But overall, all the color that's there is going to be contrasted with the black and white in the areas of the contained space. So what I want to do, I want to pick a few on my rough. I want to pick a few either Zentangle designs or there's another packet of Mandala designs that have a little bit more ornate or intricate um, patterning that you could consider using in some of those negative space areas. Now, most of the mandala designs have that arched shape as a general overall, you know, framing area, but you could use the patterns inside of the arched shape and not have to worry about that large arched shape, okay? So on your rough copy, look through and start to select and consider picking certain designs that you might want to use or come up with your own. Now, you could have, with the areas of space I have in my final, I have four areas. I've got one, two, three, four. I could do the same design all the way through. I could consider having that design be a large part of like a layered background. So whatever the design is here, it kind of continues in here. And then vice versa down here, I could have whatever that design is continue in the background. Or I could do a different design here and here and then the same design here in this part and that part and then the same design in that contained area. So you get a lot of freedom here to try stuff. You've got several copies of this. So try out, take half a period and try figuring out which design concept you want to use and what patterns you want to try out. If you make a mistake on this, that's fine. You can just go grab another one of your copies and continue on. I suggest starting out with pencil just so that you can kind of figure out which shapes you want. If you need, do need to make a mistake or if you do make a mistake, you can erase it. All right, so I came up with one design now, and I'm going to see how that's going to look using one of the thin black pens and really try to get a nice clean line. So I just did, since I have a lot of geometric shapes, I wanted to try some circular shapes and some freeform shapes. So I'm going to try it out with the thin pen, and I'm not going to necessarily worry about retracing the circles. All right, I just did that. But now I've got some line variety, some line weight variety. So I'm just going to outline everything with the thin pen and then use some areas to consider filling in solid black. Now, that's one way. I'm not sure that I actually like it. So what I'm going to consider doing is maybe taking out some elements and just working with this type of design, the thin line patterning, uh, and then maybe even having it follow the movement of that triangular area of contained space. So I'm just going to try that here on my next one. I'm just going to kind of freehand it. Now maybe I'll just take that design there or change it up, look at a different uh, design 
on here and then consider just putting those areas in so again this is my rough I'm just figuring stuff out I'm just planning here I'm not trying to do too much uh, I'm gonna put a grid in here some erasing so I'm gonna come up with a design that I will think will work with my overall concept and I'll try some different things on this rough and then see where it goes okay so I added another Zentangle design in that space right there so I've got one two three different ones I'm gonna see what I can add in this one uh, another option that I have are these mandala tracers Okay, they have a lot of different interesting uh, patterns and shapes that might work well, you know, for any given area. Now, again, that's going to depend. So, now that I got my rough Zentangle designs done, I'm going to take a look and see which one or two, since I have four areas of negative space, contained areas of negative space, I'm going to pick two and then I'm just going to alternate. So I think, I think I'm going to go with this one and I kind of like this one because one is thinner than the other. I'm going to try these two out. That's what I will next try to apply onto my final.